hey there today's video is all about crafts fun crafting and specifically we are going to focus on galaxy themed five minute short easy crafts but before we get into that here's a shout out to our sponsor girl talk art magazine am i the type of person to buy one of these monthly because they come with a craft or a toy on the front yes yes i am oh there's a column jar okay there's food coloring oh no i can't do it I can make a combing jar. I mean, there's stuff in here like where they've given you a piece of paper that you can decorate stuff with. That's so cool. <laughs> this video does contain an ad for Girl Talk Art Magazine. And that's because this is, the, sorry, there's a sloth in the back and I love it. Oh, look at that. <laughs> This is the 100th issue. And not only that, it has a competition. There is a competition. <laughs> Basically, there is a chance for five of you to win a 100 pound hobby craft voucher. There is a big block of competition rules down here. <laughs> for the competition, I don't believe there's an age restriction. That being said, if you're under 18, you do need permission from a guardian. Oh uh, yeah, but just to read what to do, what to do. <laughs> Create a piece of artwork around the subject celebration. It could be a painting, a drawing, a doodle, or a sculpture. You name it, you can do it. They've given you a page to sketch out your ideas. They are teaming up with Tate Modern, and the top 10 pieces will be narrowed down to the top five by a creator at the Tate. Which, if you're an artist, that's very cool. That's really cool. <laughs> I know for me, Tate Modern's like a goal. <laughs> I just really want to get a piece in Tate Modern. <laughs> One day, one day it will happen. The competition does close at 11.59 p.m. on the 6th of May, so you have until last second. Theme celebration, and I guess the one art tip I can give, before you start your actual, actual piece, just doodle some really intentionally bad drawings. <laughs> Honestly, having a bit of a drawing warm-up helps so much and kind of relieves that pressure of like, I have to do this good the first time. I keep looking through the magazine and I'm just wanting to do it, so we're definitely gonna do this. I will mention this because I'm in my 20s. This is a magazine focused towards kids. I'm thoroughly enjoying it though. <laughs> just to throw that out there. It's a good price too. Oh, they're felt animals. Look at the raccoon. Uh, yeah, but let's get started on some crafts. Some fun, fun five minute crafts. <laughs> bam, bam, open our cloud box. Right then, for this first project, we're gonna be making a actual galactic light bulb. <laughs> okay, so I have a light bulb jar here. To start out, we're gonna fill our jar one third of the way with water, then take a dash of pink food coloring, mix it into the water, next add a dash of glitter, and then put stuffing cotton into the jar. I'm using the end of a large paintbrush to push it down, letting it soak up all of the water. Then we add more water on top, let it fill two thirds of the jar now, and this time we take blue food coloring, mix it into the top layer of water, add glitter, then stuff in more cotton, and we repeat this for the top layer of the jar. This time using purple food coloring, add the cotton. Lastly, I have some star-shaped confetti that I'm putting on top and then pushing down the side of the jar. And there we have it! Now it looks all galaxy and fun. <laughs> this is a very simple way to do a really cool craft actually because I love it. It's so nice. It looks like so much fun. Now we're going to make a galaxy yarn tassel. <laughs> Tassels and yarn pom-poms are super easy to make. Just take a disposable plate, cut out a large H shape, and wrap the yarn around the two lawn sides. I'm using pink yarn and purple yarn. Once you're done making your yarn loops, tie a string across all of the yarn and in the middle of the H. Then along both of the lawn sides, cut the yarn loops open, remove the H, cut the other loops open, <laughs> and then trim up the ends of the yarn to resemble more of a ball type shape. Next, attach a string to the middle of the yarn ball and using a needle, thread on three pom-poms. There you have it. And now you can tie it onto a bag for fun times. <laughs> for this next one, we're gonna paint this whole canvas black. <laughs> Spread it around. This is a way to do splatter art without it being too messy. We are painting the whole canvas black. I'm also putting any excess paint back into the bottle. <laughs> Smooth it all out. Then once it's dry, take some yarn and cut it into a few seven inch-ish strips. Line the strips up on a plate. Add hot pink paint, blue, electric blue, and purple paint. Then carefully pick up the yarn and place it on the canvas and drag them off. Continue to do this, dragging the paint all over the canvas in every direction. 
You also can re-dip the yarn if you'd like to add some more paint. Then place white paint on the end of a brush and tap it against your hand for some little white speckles. So this turned into a really cool galaxy-themed splatter art without having a splatter, without making too much of a mess. <laughs> This next one is one of my favorites. Take a small canvas, place a tape roll on top and trace it for a big circle. Then we're gonna place it to the right of it and trace a moon shape. Now paint all of the area outside the circle purple. The moon a pale greenish yellow color. And the other half of the circle a light purple. And paint a line of dark pink across the base. Once dry, we're going to add some buttons on top. They will be varying in size. I used purple and pink for the base, yellow for the moon, and blue for the other side of the moon. Once you've figured out how to place them, glue them down with Mod Podge. And to fill the little spaces, I added some small beads. And here we have a small, cute button painting, and I think this is adorable. <laughs> While I have my cotton out, I might as well go into the other thing that requires cotton. The last one is an easy sock alien. First, take a neon sock, I am using pink. Place a handful of stuffing into it, cut off a piece of string, and tie it around the base of the stuffed sock. Next, take some button eyes, figure out where you want to place them, and then sew them on with black thread. Next, take two darker pink socks, cut off a half circle on the edge of the sock, and do the same to the other one. Thread a needle with pink thread, and zigzag the thread across the cut opened base. Pull it together, then attach it as an ear to the sock creature. Do the same for the other half circle you cut out. And here you have an alien chinchilla. <laughs> I'm very happy with this. So those were five galaxy-themed craft ideas. I did five because there are five possible winners for the Girl Talk Art Magazine competition. I do hope you enjoyed them and let me know if you tried any of them out. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video. <laughs> Again, we have been sponsored by Girl Talk Art Magazine. Please enter the competition, there's more details in the description and I just think it's fantastic. If you're a kid, that's better. If you're not a kid, it's still enjoyable, evidently. <laughs> If you do get one, like, show me what you make from it because I'm just like, ah. Now, I do have my weekly Comet pen giveaway. It's golden. It's a witch wizard hat. It has paintbrushes on it. It looks lovely. It looks fun. You could put it on a jacket like this. You could put it on a bag. Oh no. And the only way to get it is by leaving a lovely comment down below. <laughs> so please leave a nice comment down below should you like to win a pen. Every video is a pen given away. <laughs> and in the comments, you can just talk directly to me because I read the comments. They're my comments. <laughs> Yay. Yay. It's all party. This weekend, I am running the marathon. If you'd like to check in on that, I'm most likely posting about it on Instagram and Instagram stories. I've also started to actually use my Facebook page. <laughs> I'm literally just treating that more as like my Facebook that I would do with friends than my actual Facebook for friends. Oh yeah, so if you'd like to be friends, follow me on Facebook. <laughs> uh, yeah, but thank you for watching and I'll catch you again next time. Yay! And bye! Bye, 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 Godspeed! <laughs>